Good morning and Happy New Year. Welcome into 2022. And today I'm going to kick off this video with a nice little maths joke. So the joke is where do fish swim? And the answer is they swim in the seas. In the seas, in the seas which is today's lesson. So what are indices? Well, indices is just a shorter way of writing repeated multiplication. So for example, let's say we've got two with a small three above it. Well, how we would say this, we would say two to the power of three, and this does not mean two times three. What does this mean? Well, we always start with one, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply by two three times. So we're gonna multiply by two, once, we're going to multiply by 2 twice, we're going to multiply by 2 three times. So this number tells us what we're multiplying by, and this number tells us how many times we're multiplying by. So what is 1 times 2 times 2 times 2? Well, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So our answer is 8. So it's just a shorter way of writing all of this business. So 2 to the power of 3 is 1 times 2 times 2 times 2. So let's do another example. Let's say we've got three to the power four. So what is this? Well, we always start with one, and this time we're gonna multiply by three four times. So we're gonna multiply by three times three times three times three. And this is gonna be a bit harder to work out, but let's see if we can do it. So one times three is three, three times three is nine, nine times three is 27, and then 27 times three is 81. So three to the power four is 81. Let's do a few more examples. Let's say we've got seven to the power one. Well, what does this mean? Well, again, we always start with one, and this time we're gonna multiply by seven, but we're only gonna do that once. So it's just one times seven, which is seven. Okay, let's do uh, another few examples. So let's say we've got one to the power of 20. Now what does this mean? Well, we start with one, and we're gonna multiply by one 20 times. So I could write times one, times one, times one, 20 times. So I could write this out 20 times, but that'd be a bit redundant, because I know that anything times one is one. My answer is just one. Okay, let's do one more. Let's say we've got eight to the power zero. So what is eight to the power zero? And this might look a bit confusing, let's just work through it so with all indices we always start with one and this time we're going to multiply by eight zero times or another way you could think about it is we're not going to multiply by eight at all so our answer is just one so that is our answer eight to the power zero is just one now just to recap whenever we've got indices our first number so our, our, our big number here this is called our base so this is called our base. So this is what we're going to multiply one by. And then our small number here, this is called our index. This is called our index. And this is how many times we're going to multiply our base by. And where the name indices comes from, well, this is just the plural of index. So inde indices is just more than one index. Okay, so it's over to you now. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can calculate these following indices. Okay, so the first one, three squared. Well, remember, we always start with one, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply it by three two times. So we're gonna multiply by three once and multiply by three again. So what is one times three times three? Well, three times three, well, that is just nine. So our answer is nine. Okay, the next one, two to the power four. Again, we always start with one, and this time we're going to multiply by two four times. That's one times two times two times two times two. So two times two is four, four times two is uh, eight, eight times two is 16. Okay, number three, 10 to the power two, or another way we could say it is 10 squared. So we're going to start with one, and we're going to multiply it by 10 once, multiply by 10 twice. And 10 times 10 is 100. I'm just going to pause at this point because you might be wondering why on earth am I multiplying by 1 each time? Because this doesn't change anything. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. And 10 times 10 is 100. Multiplying by 1 on the end of this doesn't actually change the value. So what's the point of doing it? 
And the reason why is because whenever we get something like this, when we're, multiple, when we're raising something to the power zero, it becomes really obvious because two to the power zero is not zero. So remember, we always start with one and we're going to multiply by two zero times or we're not going to multiply by two at all. So our answer is just one. So that's why we need to include the one at the beginning. So for any questions or any indices where the power is not zero, we don't need to include the one. But when we've got a zero here, we need to make sure we include the one. So let's have a look at this next one. Question five. So zero to the power of four. Well, we start with one and we're going to multiply it by zero four times. So zero times zero times zero times zero. It doesn't matter what, how many times we multiply by zero, anything times zero is always zero. Okay, these next ones, I'm just going to put the answers up for these next ones, and I'd like you to mark them and see how many you get correct. Okay, so the answers are in blue, so have a look through and mark the ones you've done and see how many you got correct. And if you did get any incorrect, try and look at where you went wrong. Now, the biggest misconception that people have um, after teaching uh, this topic is that whenever you see four squared, a lot of people think this is four times two, which is eight, which it is not. This is not four times two, it's four times four. So likewise, if we were to see something like 10 cubed, a lot of people think that's 30. It's not 10 times three, it's 10 times 10 times 10. So that is the biggest misconception people have. So hopefully you found that useful. And in the next video, we're going to do something similar, but instead of our bases being nice integers, we're going to look at some bases that are fractions and decimals. Hopefully I'll see you then.